We in my kitchen. We in my kitchen. I didn't even use a tripod on this, guys. So, yeah. If you're clicking on this video, you probably want to see me make my brother's cake that I showed you guys um, earlier in the video or the last vlog. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But um, we're in my kitchen now. As you can see, is my fridge and pots and pans and all that stuff. So I'm going to show you the things that you're going to need to make this cake. The reason why I made this cake is because I actually am broke, like I've told you guys um, many of times. And I always wanted to make my brother um, a custom cake. So I decided to make one myself since, you know, I can't afford to buy one. Buying one will be like $200, like around where I am. So uh, I decided to make my own cake that cost me literally under like probably under like 85 80 dollars probably like under 70 even so i'm just going to show you the things that we're going to need that you're going to need to make this cake if you want to make this cake duncan hines cake i got like I got the black one i mean i got the chocolate one because you know we black people we chocolate so you're gonna need the chocolate cake. For the second layer, in between the, the filling, I got the vanilla um, Betty Crocker uh, Super Moist Vanilla Cake. This was $1.99, guys. You can see, like, I don't know. How the hell do you focus this thing? Whatever. So you can see that it's $1.99. I bought one, two, three, four, five, six. I bought six cake boxes for only nine dollars that's not too bad at the 99 cent store i got it these icings here um i'll show you the white one is for the kettlebell i'll show you all of this later i got this from um michael's yeah michael's for like 99 cents if you're filling i got this cream cheese one then i got a buttercream switch it up on these holes a little bit <laughs> Then I got another cream cheese one. So the filling that I'm doing is um, cookies and cream filling because you know we like cookies and cream. So you're gonna need a lot of these um, fake Oreo cookies because you know Oreo cookies are expensive. So just go to the hood, go to 99 cent store and then you can get the generic version for $1.99. Then lastly, you're gonna need the fondant. I'll show you why you need this later. You're gonna need the black one for the kettlebell and you're gonna need the chocolate one. The cake board that you're actually gonna put the cake on. This was like $5, not too bad. So, you know, everything here is pretty inexpensive. Right, guys, so we're almost done. Um, I'm already tired. But this is what it should look like. So I'm just, you know, taking my whisk and I am spinning, you know, just stirring it up. You gotta have really good arms for this, no pun intended. You gotta have really, really good arms for this though, honestly, cause my upper body strength, yo. But yeah, this is what it looks, should look like, chocolatey goodness, you know. Just follow the ingredients on here. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing cause you know, it's on here, just read it. Honestly guys, if you can smell what is coming out of this bowl, you would, <sighs> smells so good. Cause I've been dieting so long, like just eating salads and kale and tomatoes and all that stuff so now that i actually have some sweets and i'm a tourist shout out to tourist signs you guys probably like a sweets like me too all right so now that that's done um i'm gonna go ahead and put the chocolate cake inside of the oven now that it is preheated and then i'm going to make the Fudge, I mean the filling that you guys are gonna see now. 
we're about to make the filling i'm gonna show you guys this whole thing because you know you're probably gonna need help or whatever so let's fix my shirt this is the fake oreo cookies as you can see you don't need these you can get the real oreos whatever it tastes just the same it's cheaper whatever so we're making this thing. bad girl i need to stop eating that mm, tastes so good though all right don't eat them. don't eat any more cookies and money anyway so what you're gonna do is i'll take the last bite what you're gonna do is take your cookies right take a ziploc bag you're gonna put the cookies in the ziploc bag Put as many cookies as you can fit because you're gonna need a lot. I probably got way too many cookies than I actually need. So I'll probably just give the rest to my mom or something because I don't want to have all these sweets in my house. It's a distraction. You know, I'm trying to look like Beyonce so I can't be having all these sweets. So you're gonna close the Ziploc bag and then you're gonna crush it. I'm just gonna show you how to crush it right now. So you're just gonna really like just get in there and like just go. So then what you're gonna do afterwards is take the crushed Oreos and put them in the bowl. See how it looks like dirt? You want it to look like dirt. You wanna take the frosting. This is a cream cheese one and you're gonna open it as usual. And you're gonna take your handy dandy little spoon here and you're just gonna scoop it and put it into the bowl like that. So we're gonna take all of it and we're gonna put it into the bowl. So like I said, I got three of these um, because I was unsure as how many I would need. you rather have more than to have little. Put it around as you can see. I wish I had someone to record, help me record this video, but I don't, so we're going to spin it around, spin it around, spin it around, oops, there you go. And you want a spoon without the wicks, because if it does have the wicks, it's going to even, it's just going to mess up all the cookie. It's gonna mess up all the cookies, so you just want it to be perfect the way it is like this. All right. Mm. Hey guys, so we're back at it. Um, the cakes are finally baked. My house almost burned down because I put too much cake mix in the cake pan, so it flew over into like my oven and then the house just started smelling like a whole bunch of smoke so you know gotta be careful of those things but anyway we have our cakes here this is the vanilla one and the chocolate one looks a little messed up because you know of the fire situation that happened so this is the chocolate one <laughs> The formation, as I would say, it has the cookies and cream uh, filling, and then I put a little extra filling on there. This is how it's supposed to look. We haven't uh, put the top cake on yet. We're about to do that right now, but I just want to show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, so this is what you want it to look like. This is the muscle. It looks kind of like a muscle. You see what I did here? I made it like 3d so this is where the muscle is going to be popping out you'll be able to see all of this when i actually do the video this is the fondant that i got from michael's um this was like five dollars three dollars three to five dollars as i said i'll have everything linked in the description but this is basically gonna be the skin tone of the muscle, the arm, that's gonna be there. So this is really easy. This is the package here. Um, it comes with directions inside. All you have to do is just 
uh, roll it out so it's um, thinner and then you just put it on the cake. Since I don't have a roller, I'm actually going to use this um, gym bottle. <laughs> I'm just going to wash it and roll it because I forgot to buy a roller. I think this should work uh, about fine, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so this is the finishing product. This is what it looks like. Um, I would say I would give myself like a B plus. in the new video <laughs> happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear koopa happy birthday to you thank you money you're welcome i love my little chocolate cake 